All right, project fans, in this video, I am going to show you how to install a leisure battery or a dual battery system. Um, I am going to be using the BIR 500 isolator. I already have that in there. Um, but I watched some videos on YouTube and they all, they all miss something. So I'm going to try and make a video ma making this as easy as humanly possible so that you can see exactly how to wire everything. Let's call, let's see if I can do it under two minutes. I don't know if that's possible, but I'll give it a shot. I'm already at 46 seconds in this video, so probably not going well. All right, let's get to it. From the battery, I've got my um, positive wire running down in through uh, my engine bay in here. All the way around, I have a 200 amp breaker right here, which I can pop or pop if anything kind of goes wrong on that. Um, I go into the BIR 500 real, or, um, isolator right there. And from here, I run out of my isolator back through another 200 amp breaker right there and then down to the bed of the truck back there. Um, the isolator is controlled by, let's see if I can get over top of this here. It's controlled by these two leads right here. Um, one is a chassis ground, okay? And then the other one is going to go inside the engine bay, which I ran it right back down through there. Let me show you where that goes. All right, guys, so in my um, fuse panel right here, I've added a jumper, okay? And I've added a jumper to this top accessory. Um, and that basically when the car accessory turns on, then it will open the relay. And then the relay will let power go back to the back dual battery system. So when the car's on, this will open. When the car's off, this will be closed. And my dual battery, will, my secondary or my leisure battery will be isolated. I've got my hot coming in right here, and then that runs into its own fuse panel right here. And I don't have this all hooked up yet, but I'm going to here. And then uh, this goes back to my ground or back to um, the battery right here. This is a chassis ground. This is running down through there and screwed into the chassis. Um, I probably should run this as a chassis ground, but this works the same. This works fine. Um, from my fuse panel, what? I've tried. I run into my switch block right here. And what I'm doing in here is I'm running all of my electronics through this switch panel. Um, I, that way I can do cool things like charge my phone here, run my lights. Um, this right here, this is pretty cool. I can jump this in. Boom. That allows me to run. Boom. Heated blanket. Um, heated blankets pull a lot of power. Uh, because I have a 95 amp hour battery, this on low pulls very low amperage, 3.7 amps. I should be able to get all night with it and still be able to charge some camera equipment. I will double check the math on that, I promise you guys. All right, hold on a second. Let's pull the whiteboard out and actually do the math on this so we know what we're talking about. The equation that we're looking for is amps times hours equals amp hours. Now, we know the amps of the devices that we're gonna be charging and we know the amp hours of the batteries. So this is a pretty easy equation to solve for, but that's not where we stop. The next piece of information that we need is the battery's depth of discharge. Now, we're using an AGM battery, so the AGM battery depth of discharge is 80%. Each of the devices that we're using, we know the amps for. So the heated blanket is 3.7, amps and the iPhone is 2.1 amps. When we break out the equation, we've got 3.7 plus 2.1 times the amount of hours that we're looking for is going to give us 95 amp hours times our depth of discharge. When we do the math on that, the math is going to give us hours at 13.1. So I should be able to get 13.1 hours on the devices that I'm using, right? Since we're using a heated blanket, we can assume that the battery temperature is not going to be at 75 degrees, which is the optimal temperature for battery capacity. We're going to do the calculation using this chart right here at zero degrees Fahrenheit. It's three degrees right now, and I'm fine. I'm fine. Which is only going to give us about 65% of our normal battery capacity. So we have to take our H of 13, multiply it times 0.65 to get us our final result for how much capacity or how many hours that we're going to get out of the devices that we're going to be using. I went through that really quick, didn't I? That was, yeah, it's a lot of stuff right there that I just cut out of the video because I'm terrible at making videos. I apologize about that. But to make things easy on you guys, what I have done is I've actually made a wiring diagram for everything that I just showed you. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. Bloop. Yeah, I just blooped and held my hand there. That's... Anyway, um, that's the wiring diagram. 
If you want it, uh, screenshot it from there. I will put it on my Instagram for you, which uh, Life Projects, that's L-I-F-E-P-R-O-J-X, you know, you know the thing. As a disclaimer, um, I'm not an auto mechanic. I am a hobbyist. You should check with the mechanic before you do anything on your vehicle yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm not an expert. I mean, mine works. I'm fine. I'm fine. At, at some point, I might make another video or I'll, I'll come back and I'll do an Instagram post or something like that where you can see how I hooked up the, um, the electronics control box and all of that stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like it, please do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe. I'm supposed to say that. I always forget, but I'm supposed to say that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hold on guys, voiceover chat here. I wanted to put the wiring diagram back up on the screen for you. I did something pretty cool with this. All of the items on this wiring diagram are the actual items that I used in this build. If you're curious about any of them or what they are, I've actually left links in the description so you can check out every single thing that I used in this. If you guys have any other questions, do me a huge favor, leave me a comment. I'll try and get back to all of you guys. And I thank you guys for watching. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.